just because you read this does not mean you will have an understanding now you can give a theological explanation as to what you think was happening you can even write a book about it but my brothers and my sisters this is sealed until it is open you will never see what is there are we ready now so let's read it came to pass afterwards that he went throughout every city and village jesus now preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of god and the 12 were with him verse 2 and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities mary all of that together they went with him verse 3 um okay so you know the bible is just giving us the setting now of all of this i think it starts from verse 4 and when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city he spake but he spake by a parable he communicated but he used a parable to hide the secret what is the parable verse 5 a sower a sower went out to sow his seed follow the story a sower no name he went out to sow his seed so whoever this sower is we know that the sower was desiring fruitfulness are we together nobody just goes to sow seeds just because he feels like throwing seeds so one the sower had seeds number two the sower was a sower are you getting what i'm saying now listen a sower went out to sow his seed and as he sowed it's amazing that everything that happened by the wayside and the rest was called sowing it was not a mistake as he sowed some fell by the wayside listen and it was trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it two some fell on a rock and as soon as it was sprung up it withered away because it lacked moisture and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it and other fell on good ground so we know that they didn't just fall that falling is sowing because even on the good ground it uses the same word so it's not like the seed maybe a bag with holes and then it fell until he got to the good ground no he sowed there is a soil called the wayside and he sowed there and he watched what happened now the first thing we have to be thankful for is that god did not hide the failures of this sower otherwise we would have been deceived about fruitfulness the bible gives us the complete story of the struggles of this sower to the end that we may have a balanced understanding are we still together let's continue our story the bible says an order fell on good ground and it sprang up and bear fruit and hundredfold and when he had said these things he cried jesus started crying imagine that as i'm teaching you now i just finished then i, I pause and i start crying when the bible says he cried in many regards he really cried it's not just that he lifted his voice loud he really cried why did he cry he that had ears to hear let him hear how can you finish talking to people my brothers and my sisters this is jesus adult jesus not the child learning something in the temple and you stand and teach people and then start crying do you know why because we're saying wow jesus are you this smart and jesus said oh dear jesus was revealing through this story what was happening as he was teaching it was not just something that happened one day alone he was crying because there was a repetition of that story real time as he was talking he being the sower are you getting what i'm saying now yes let's go back to verse 5 now there are certain informations that we really really need to believe and understand about this to help our fruitfulness i, I just thought to explain this parable notice that jesus was so passionate about this parable he didn't allow any human being interrupt the interpretation he said i will interpret it myself there are many times he would not interpret certain 
parables he will just leave them but this one he says so that there is no confusion i will explain and in many times jesus will leave some details out in explaining a parable but this one every single detail was explained to tell you his level of passion let's go to verse 9 let's finish and then we'll come back to verse 5 go to verse 9 and his disciples asked him saying what might this parable be are we ready now let's hear jesus interpret his own parable and he said unto you hallelujah it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of god this is how he started interpretation jesus interpreting now and i said leave that matter the reason why i will interpret this to you is because that thing you see is a coded message but unto you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of god but to others in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand every time the bible use hearing twice the second hearing is understanding are we together now next verse now the parable is this i love jesus now the parable is this number one the sower the seed is the word of god mm. the seed is what not a business idea we are talking fruitfulness here the seed is not an investment plan listen carefully the seed that produces that harvest is the word of god number two those by the wayside are they so those soils are people listen carefully people who have hearts the wayside are people the rocks all of that they they are different states of people's hearts notice the goal is to produce result but everything is happening inside a man's heart it just uses a farm to explain the entire labor of that fruitfulness is happening within the man not outside the man are we together tonight it says those by the wayside are they that hear then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts are we together now out of their hearts not out of their life he did not touch anything external he just came into their hearts removed the seed of the word of god and left every other idea there he didn't tamper with their ideas they didn't tamper with all their plans he just carried the word factor and left every other thing and the bible says lest they should believe and be saved they on the rock are they which when they hear they receive the word so they are an improvement to the first set the set the first set just heard but the second set heard and received the word with joy remember what the bible says about joy it says they fulfill the spiritual law here with joy and then the bible says and these have no root which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away next verse and that which fell among tongues are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked the first set heard the second set heard received added joy the third set heard and took action are you seeing now all an improvement to themselves and were choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection that means they started bearing fruit but the fruit could not mature the last set 15 but that on the good ground are they look look at look at this look at this they are they which in an honest and good heart having heard the word keep it and bring forth more fruit with patience they are not creative people what made them good was honesty that they had an honest and a good heart and by that honesty they were given an ability to keep it and the bible says they produce fruit for what jesus is teaching on fruitfulness now let me tell you this kingdom mysteries are very foolish and childish they were designed that way so that you
You have to be like a child to understand their operations. And that is the reason why many people never become fruitful and never get results. Because of the simplicity and the childlike character of spiritual communication. Are we together? Now, look at this. I am very grateful to God that the sower himself was not mentioned. The Bible never told us who the sower was. So the sower could be anybody. The Bible tells us what the seed was and the soils, the reaction, how they were planted and the results. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now watch this very carefully. Do you know that we need to congratulate this sower first for his patience and endurance? Because whoever this sower was, it is true that he had to survive a lot. When you plant a seed, and then it dies then you go to another soil and it improves a little then you go to another soil and it improves a little the bible is very careful to let us see the transitions of this man and saying that all of it is part of an equation that can be captured in, on your journey to fruitfulness the same sower continued to do this until he got to a point what was the difference my brothers and sisters between the way